It's important to mention that Grignards will add twice to acid chlorides because they are too reactive. However, cuprates, which are the least reactive organometallic reagents, will only add once. So it's sometimes deceiving when you see this CH32 or 2R groups that those will add twice. Be careful. So what's going to happen is that here, we will draw this out. So because they are the least reactive, So you're aware we have the tetrahedral intermediate. And we added only one methyl group or R group here. Uh, these electrons are going to come down and kick the CL out. And the products will be, and just bear with me, this is giving me a hard time drawing here. And the reaction stops here. So it's not gonna keep it's not going to keep going like it did in the last reaction. Simply because organocuprates or copper reaction cuprates are the least the least reactive. It's also important to mention that. Cuprates only react with acid chlorides. So cuprates Okay. So we're just gonna write it here. Only with acid chlorides. So no other carbonyls will react with cuprates. So if that's ever written, then you say no reaction. So the question is, what about carboxylic acid. What happens if you react those with, let's say, the Grignard reagents? Will this reaction work? Well, let's look at the problem. So we have an acidic proton here. And we know this is a strong base. So this is what's going to happen. Minus. And if you recall, this is called a carboxylate, which is the least reactive. Uh, 
All right. Of of carbonyls. So what's going to happen is you're going to have magnesium. Methane gas. Because you added one H to the CH3. And of course, the magnesium bromide. So again, that's the reaction. It stops here. It's an acid-based reaction. 